This is a very simple tutorial that explains how to take full advantage of responsive CSS. I did it in a creative way just to explain uh, what is the potential of responsive CSS. It came about just to make sure that every content can be displayed properly on any type of screen, uh, being that a Macintosh computer, PC computer, it could be your iPad tablet or a 7-inch tablet or your cell phone or whatever. So in this case, I'm making an example that works only on my computer because it's the only device that I have where I can actually change the size of the browser window. So I've taken a video and um, I broke down the video into multiple frames. So each frame represents me moving back and forth closer towards the edge of the window. I've taken all the pictures and I've saved them in a folder and then I've created a index.html which basically contains only one simple main frame, a div. That's all I have in the code, in the HTML, is just a div called uh, main and then I will reference back to the same div in my CSS but this time I will be using uh, different conditions. You see I'm using main, 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 main. Basically this one is a CSS that only refers to the same main divider. But as you can see the CSS is quite rich. What have I created is also a variable here that says depending on the media size when the maximum width is 2500 pixel then display the picture called background 41.jpg and this picture is exactly this one background 41.jpg as I move uh, down in my CSS I see that I am creating at step of 30 pixels at a time a different background for the same main div but here I'm stating a condition that the picture will be displayed uh, at a different size of the media and at the same time the size of my div will also change so the size of media being 1870 pixel corresponds to a div size being 1870 pixel and so on all the way at the bottom of my CSS where I have the same rule for main with the same condition that applies to the media size this time with a maximum width of 700 pixels where the div will be 700 pixel and display the picture called background 01.jpg it is the result in my uh, google chrome i can just scale down the size of my window and automatically will replace the picture as a background so i can dynamically create a, a kind of an animation just by changing the size of my window browser this is a local example that I've created. I'm going to put it online soon. And then you can play around with a live version of this example at the URL that you see below.